Firstly, congratulations on making the Saturday Amateur Cup final. Talk us through your journey to the final. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster journey for us from penalty shootout, wins in the first round, took a very depleted squad over to Coventry, uh, plumbing in the second round, and uh, had a great quarter final against Coventry Guada, and then sealed it with a, with a fantastic 5 1 win over at um, Sparta, Prague, in Coventry. So, yeah, it's been a bit up and down, but we've really enjoyed it, really enjoyed the journey. What has the atmosphere been like amongst the players and team as a whole ahead of this final? Mood's really good, really, really good. We train it as any normal game. Uh, we've got to earn the right before we um, before we think about going on to win the game. So uh, yeah, lads are in really, really good spirits. And how do you think your side will get on today? Uh, quietly confident. So I try not to say too much before kickoff. But um, no, I know the lads are more than capable, and uh, I wish them all the best. And lastly, tell us how important it is for Claverton to have reached the Saturday and the Trip Cup final. Uh, really, really important. As I said in the programme, it's our tenth year since we refounded the club and this is arguably our biggest game, so to, to play this game on our 10th year is fantastic. Congratulations on making the Saturday Amateur Cup final. Talk us through how you got to today's final. Uh, it's been a tough competition so far. Um, four tight games in the competition. We managed to keep clean sheets in all four of them, so we're expecting the same today. Uh, it's been a tough journey, but an exciting one, so we'll see what today brings. What's the atmosphere been like amongst the players and teams as a whole ahead of this final? It's been great to be fair, we picked up our first trophy last season and I've just told the lads to carry that, that form and that team spirit into today really and just enjoy the occasion, enjoy the football and uh, whatever we'll do at the end of the day. How do you think your side will get on today? I think we'll do fairly well, we're a young, fit, energetic side, move the ball really well. Uh, we're going to put the opposition to plenty of pressure early on so hopefully we'll be a little bit too much for today. And lastly, tell us how important it is for Tamworth to have reached the Saturday Amateur Cup final. Oh, it's huge as a club. Absolutely huge. Um, first team obviously struggling at the minute in their competition. Uh, we're trying our best to put things right at our level. And uh, producing players is really what we're all about. So if they perform well today, you never know. Charlie, congratulations on winning the Saturday Amateur Cup final. Describe your current emotions. Uh, lost words. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think on full time we'd be here at half time, but I said to the lads, stay in the game. Uh, we were against it first half. We changed it up a little bit, but um, a change for the better, I think. So it was good. Talk us through the match from your side's point of view. First half was difficult. We played a formation that we played all season. We got faith in it, but it didn't work. We had the guts to change it at the half time to a 4-4-2. And then we brought the two big lads up at top to give us a bit more of a presence. So, um, you know, a learning curve for sure. Um, it was good. In the first half, you came under quite a lot of pressure. How impressed were you with your side's defensive performance? Well, defensively, we were spot on. Uh, the wingers tracked their men back in. Um, I thought uh, Matt Sharp, the played at the back, he was excellent. Put some great tackles in, made himself known. 
Um, and I was proud for them to come in at 0-0 because -nil, uh, it allowed us to get in and change it and talk it through. In the first half we were on, our, on each other's backs a little bit, but second half you could see the spirit was there and, and that's where we're going to win the game, I think. And obviously Tamworth scored quite early on in yep. the second half, which was a bit of a blow, but how impressed were you with how your side responded and came back into the contest? Yeah, I was really impressed with the character show. Um, I did say they probably scored at the best time because it gave us time to amend it. Um, but yeah, it's a tremendous character. It took us a couple of minutes. I think it was a bit of a blow straight after half time, but as soon as we came out and, and got into our rhythm, we, um, we looked you know, like we had the chance to go and win it. And what were you thinking when the ball hit the back of the net so late on in the game? <laughs> I didn't actually see it because I turned around and I was speaking to Nod, but, uh, but I saw the emotion from the players and that's all that counts. It, it, you know, it puts the time and the effort into it. And lastly, how significant is this for Claverdon as a club? Massive, massive, absolutely massive. We're growing year on year. Uh, we've got six teams now across the juniors, so the first team is something for the youth to look up for. And all I said to them at the start of the game was, you know, we're looking for to put pride and credibility into the shirt for the next generation to pick up. And from everyone at the Birmingham County Football Association, we would like to wish you, well, congratulations for winning the Saturday Amateur Cup final. Thank you very much. Great show and thank you.